Hi students, it's still September. Here are your announcements. Um, so today is a 1 p.m. dismissal because it's a Thursday and back to school is tonight. And because back to school is a two hour event and teachers have a really long day, that means that teachers have a shorter day tomorrow. It means we all get a shorter day tomorrow. Tomorrow is a 1 p.m. dismissal. Um, something look to look forward to on Monday, tell your families about, is that there's a PTA meeting. It's on Zoom, so it's in the newsletter for families that want to join. And the end of the month, we have a faculty academy, which is a pupil-free day. It's a preparation for advisory, which is going to happen in October. Um, so thank you guys so much for everything that you're doing with the dress code. There, people, if they're um, if they forget and wear something on their shirt, like a graphic or uh, words, they just are turning it inside out or borrowing a shirt from the office. Everyone's been wonderful about this. We do have a cell phone policy update. Um, in this last week, there have been two different times when um, students have been in a conflict or a fight and other students have pulled out their phones to record it, which um, has caused really huge harm to our community that something is recorded, but also that that is then sent around or asked to be seen. Um, so it's like it kind of creates a, a system of shame in our school. Um, embarrassment, like we're laughing at each other for our own benefits. Um, and because that causes so much harm, what we are doing is we are going to have an automatic cell phone contract for anybody that pulls out their phone when there is a conflict or a fight or record someone against their permission. Um, pulling out your phone on campus is an automatic cell phone policy issue, but you know, the first time you get to pick it up at the end of the day, the second time a parent picks it up, third time it's a contract, but these have been such harmful moments that we're going straight to the contract for anyone um, who asks for a recorded video or anyone, and, and we have evidence of it, or anyone that just uses their phone to record a fight, pull a fight. And we're really considering having cell phones only be in backpacks. We're, we want to be careful and um, make, make careful decisions, not be too reactive. So we're going to be thinking about that, and I'll make an announcement next week. Um, it would mean that students would have to carry their backpack with them with their phone in it if they don't want to leave their phone around. But um, having cell phones on your person is just leading to this. Okay, I really want to do um, like a virtue shout out to our uh, flag football coaches and athletes because they talked about this issue today or actually yesterday on Wednesday um, and the team, the group as a whole decided to op take out cell phones and delete videos that were on people's phones. I think this was a really huge practice of open-mindedness, thinking from someone else's perspective beside their own. Um, and also humility to admit that a mistake was made and courage to pull your phone out right in front of other people and delete that. So I, I just want to shout out the leadership of our athletes and the leadership of our coaches. Thank you so much, athletes, for being leaders on campus. Um, we have athletes that are trying out for flag football and girls volleyball right now. But look, October, December, there are more basketball, girls basketball, boys track and field and then boys basketball, girls track and field, and then soccer and cross country. We have so much good athletics to look forward to. Okay, here is grade level participations as of the 14th. Sixth graders, you have 22 families that have donated. Seventh graders, 24, and eighth graders, 10. That means that seventh graders, you have earned yourself a free dress day this Friday. Seventh graders, you can wear your words and your images um, and have fun with your free dress this Friday. Sixth graders, if by Thursday, 8.30 p.m., which is the end of our back to school, um, if you get to 25, not too hard, that means one, no, three additional donations, you also are going to get a free dress and we'll send home a text message to let you know. Eighth graders, if you can get to 20, that's less, if you can get to 20 by Thursday at 830, I will give free dress Friday and Monday to the entire school. So eighth graders, you have the power to uh, make free dress extended. And then we are going to do a real, this is our very last thing, we're gonna do a raffle. See all these cute little foxes? We're gonna be raffling these off for anyone who has donated, you get into the raffle. If you donate at the level where it's like, we need 250 per student. So if your family can donate at that level, you're gonna get thank you cards. We're gonna have a really fun event and get to pass those out. But look at this sweet little fox. 
in the top, we are raffling off that box right now. I put everyone's name whose families have donated. This is live. I don't know who's going to win, but they get a little box. We're going to deliver it to them. Who is it? It's Rain. Rain, you get a cute, cute box. You are the winner. Thank you to all of you for your families that have donated. Um, I think we have one last thing to say is that um, we are fully enrolled for all grades. Thank you so much for telling your friends about the opening. And you can still have your friends join the waiting list. People move in the middle of the year and we'll go right to the next person on the waiting list. Um, and then for next year, fifth graders who are interested in IVA, applications come out in December. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful advisory and look forward to talking to you.